It's not as easy as it was in 2005 and 2006, I understand that. But tough, let me talk about tough. I go from airport to airport to airport. That's what I do for a living now. I fly in airplanes. I spend more time on airplanes than I do in classrooms. So I'm at the airport all the time. And you know how like, we kiss our spouse will, you know, goodbye in the morning, our children goodbye in the morning, and little Sammy will say, could you make the soccer game tonight, Dad, or Mom? Or our spouse will say, well, listen, I'm cooking a special dinner tonight. Make sure you're home for dinner tonight. All right? And we try our best to try to work that out. And sometimes a customer calls at the last minute or a listing calls at the last minute, and we have to go do that. And we talk about how tough our job is because we miss this, we miss that. In the airports, this is the people I see kissing their spouses goodbye. <coughs> husband and wife kissing their husband and wife goodbye, and the little kids hugging. But they're dressed in fatigues. Third deployment to Iraq. Their kids aren't trying to figure out when mommy and daddy are coming home. What's their question? If mommy and daddy are coming home. That's a tough job. Work at a cancer hospital, children's ward. You're a cancer doctor. Sitting in your office right now is a nice young couple that have been on their knees for the last 30 days, hoping for a what? Yeah, miracle. miracle four-year-old daughter. You're walking down the hall to your office where they're sitting knowing a miracle didn't happen. That's a tough job. Let's not put ourselves in that category. We have some tough times in front of us. We have some tough news to deliver, but it's really not a tough job. But I've been a realtor for a long time, and I know that it's not easy either. <laughs> When I was trying to take a picture reflecting what sellers feel about their agents right now, this picture just jumped off the way the page for me. <laughs> Let's get at it. First of all, it's not as tough as we think it is. Reuters University of Michigan take a survey each year. They said, did your house go up or down in value? In 2007, 16% thought that the house had dropped in value. This year, 33% did. Now, I know that that number should be 97.9. I'm not arguing that. But how many more people this year than last year realize that the house dropped in value? Twice as many. More than twice as many. They're catching the drill. 